Hi guys, this is Ravi Prakash talking on behalf of Karthik Anura for the, uh, for the Capit Simplified. Today I'm going to show you the interpretation for uh, uh, an intraoral periapical radiograph taken for a mandibular posterior quadrant. Here we go. This is an intraoral periapical radiograph taken for right mandibular posterior quadrant. The radiograph shows tooth number 29, 30, and 31. The tooth of interest is tooth number 30. The crown of 30 shows a large radiolucency, which is suggestive of caries. This radiolucency is involving the mesial pulp horn, but it is encroaching on the distal pulp horn. The pulp chamber appears to be normal in shape and size. The tooth has two roots, the mesial root has two root canals. The distal root has a single canal. The root canals are very much evident without any calcifications. The apical, <clears throat> the, sorry, the periodontal ligament space with both the roots is widened in the apical one thirds. The lamina dura is continuous with both the roots and the periradicular area with the, especially with the distal root shows some amount of radiopacity which is again a sign of sclerosis. So these features of widened periodontal ligament space, intact lamina dura and sclerotic bone formation are suggestive of chronic apical periodontitis. Now coming to the interdental alveolar bone between the tooth number 29 and 30, the levels appear to be normal between tooth number 30 and 31. There is some amount of bone loss and this bone loss, it appears to be in an angular fashion. Now coming to the normal radiographic anatomical landmarks, you see this part shows some hazy radiolucent area. This might be uh, uh, the submandibular gland fossa. And also this area shows some amount of radio opacity, which is again uh, overlapping the apices of tooth number 31 and uh, uh, overlapping the sclerotic bone formation with respect to the distal root of uh, tooth number 30. This again could be a malad ridge, which always runs parallel to the submandibular gland, uh, submandibular, uh, uh, su sorry, uh, which always runs parallel to the inferior alveolar nerve canal. But we don't see any uh, image of the canal here, but this shadow appears to be uh, the submandibular gland fossa. Thank you.